How's it going you guys? Kyle here to teach you how to do the aerial. I'm going to try and show you guys both the tricker aerial, which is mainly what this is going to focus on, and then I'll touch up a little bit more on the formal aerial, where it's the gymnastic, cheerleading, you know, straight legs, pointy feet, all that crap. If you want to go the extra mile and that's what you're working on, then I recommend that's what you practice. But real quick, let me demonstrate both, and then we'll go through breaking them down. For the tricker aerials, for the right, the left, and then for the formal aerials, on the right and the left, just like so. so. The aerial is basically all momentum into a quick jump, but the key is having your legs swinging fast. If your legs aren't swinging fast, they're not going to get to the ground in time for you to stand it up. Now progressions, if you can't do the aerial yet, but you're looking for a key, something that can help you learn it. Butterfly kick. Butterfly kick is how I progress the aerial, and they're actually both very similar. If you look at the tricker aerial, which looks like this here, you take that versus the butterfly kick, which looks like this, and you can kind of see they both involve a dip, they both involve swinging your legs, and your legs are going in a circular motion. Aerial is vertical, butterfly kick is more horizontal. So if you think of it that way, you can kind of take that butterfly kick Start horizontal, then go kicking your feet higher and higher as you feel the momentum pull you around and eventually you'll go from butterfly kick straight into your aerial. Nothing changes as far as what your legs do, they just go more vertical. The way to change that though is in the butterfly kick you used to bring your body horizontal. Not so much shoulders up but you're popping your hips up. You would let your chest stay down and just jump more off that leg and then swing your legs faster. So if you don't have that down, go ahead and get that. See if that helps. It's a great way to kind of build momentum and control and awareness. Now when you're starting out, you just want to kind of spread your feet out nice and wide. Make sure they're nice and comfortable where you have the control and you can feel the shift back and forth. You just want to kind of work on the dip, that part there. All right, because when you dip, you're going to dip and go down where your chest is close to that knee. What your arms will do is they'll go one, two, over, and that's just going to start the circular momentum that's going to pull you around. As your arms go over and your chest comes down, the closer your chest gets to that knee, the more you want to pull your arms in. Because if your arms are going out and they stay out, your momentum is going to start pulling more down to the ground. If you can pull out, down, and scoop it back up, your momentum will loop with your jump upon also driving your leg. Aerial is one of those movements where the better your flexibility is, the easier it's going to be. So if the limit of your flexibility is right here, then you're gonna have to start here from when you leave the ground and cover all that extra space still. If your flexibility is about to here, then that's a lot less space for you to still cover once you jump. So the better your flexibility is, the closer you can get to being in the splits by the time that foot leaves the ground, the faster it's gonna happen. Otherwise, you'll have to really count on the power of your jump and the power of that swing and keeping your eyes on the ground so you can spot your landing and know when to pull your feet underneath you. If your flexibility isn't really that good, pia! There's a tutorial there so you guys can just stretch with me. That video is all about stretching and just kind of the basic routine that I do when I stretch and then I can, I can help you boost your flexibility and you come back to this and pick up that aerial extra quick. Now when it comes to synchronizing your arms with the dip and the drive, you want to focus on feeling the control of that lift and push. The lift being that back leg driving up and the push being that front leg pushing down. That leg kicks off the ground. It's not a quick hop. You're not doing bounces like you're jump roping. You're kicking like you're Sparta kicking the ground because the harder you kick that ground, the higher you go up. If I do that and I kick very softly, oh, there's no way I'm gonna be able to make it. So keep that in mind. You wanna get low enough to where that knee is bent. If you're going over into an area like this and your leg's mostly straight, how much power are you gonna get from that? As you dip, bend the knee, get that chest low, scoop the arms, lift hard, push harder, and swing. Swing, swing, swing. And don't take your eyes off the ground. If you're here, your eyes should stay looking at the ground as you control your feet. Don't look up and watch your feet spin around. You don't have time for that. So make it fast, make it powerful. And if you have to, without going into the actual aerial, walk yourself through this. Feel the movement, one, two, dip, one, two. Dip, lift, and push. 
walking yourself through motions just like that will help you feel where the sweet spots are to help you learn the right timing to execute the right amount of power and the right amount of movement and then your technique will be that much better and it'll look better and that right there is pretty much the gist of the tricker aerial now i touch a little bit on the formal aerial when i go for my formal aerials i usually think about stepping driving a knee with lifting my arms that way it sets me up to land drop and scoop lift and push all in one motion and literally the moment you land pop pop it's just like the tricker aerial but because you're facing forward you have to turn your hips in order to come out facing the other direction so the way you want to think about that is just use a cartwheel when you're doing a cartwheel you start facing one way and as you come out you end up facing the other way but as you're doing the cartwheel you feel your hips turn in the air and it's very much the same in the aerial a couple things that i did that really helped me was when i started i would dive into a cartwheel so what i would do is get myself used to that lift part and then plant my hands for safety so i go drive and then i plant my hands on the way back down and you can kind of think about swinging your feet seeing if you can beat your your hands to the ground with your feet although if you're reaching you're gonna hit hands first so work on pulling them up and then just go to one hand after using two Another method you could do is you can plant your hands down but push off your hands to get used to the actual landing. So stay low but push and then you can kind of get used to what it feels like to pop up, pull your feet underneath you and stand your chest up. And the entire time, even in the formal aerials, you should still be able to see the ground the whole time. In your aerial, you want to try your best not to land here and then stand up. You want to try to make it flow where you're standing up as your back foot is planted you're upright. If you want to work on swing throughs, you want to have your chest up when that foot lands, that way you're right there ready to swing. Or even if you wanted to follow through into a combo, standing up will help you follow through up into another combo because landing with your chest up helps your momentum pull back up, especially if you land and you can control the bend and jump depending on what you're going for out of it. But that's pretty much it for the aerial. Hopefully I've helped you guys out a lot. If you still have questions, if you still have concerns, throw them in the comment section below. If you have videos, send them to me so I can watch you. It'll be so much easier to help you out. Whether it's on Instagram, Facebook, here on YouTube, in a comment with a video of you, of you trying your attempts. I will help you out if you have a video for sure because it's that much easier than trying to understand the riding and trying to visualize what your movement looks like. Cause it, could be, it could be crazy and the things that you might not even know pick out for you and help you out that much better so keep that in mind and then nothing else to do let me show you guys some slow bows get you guys on your way and go aerial it out take it easy guys stay positive momentum you can open up the better now your height comes from lifting your hips up and jumping off that bottom leg your support leg so make sure you have real good strong calf muscles so that way you can